All right, we're back. So for this next assignment, we're finding and saving an image in Google Images. Um, and I think that like the important thing to recognize here is that you always want to make sure you have an image that's large enough for whatever purpose you're going to use it for. If you put an image in your PowerPoint presentation, it might not need to be particularly large, but what you don't want is to have to have a pixelated image, something that looks blurry, right, or just unprofessional. So you can always set your image size when you're doing a Google image search to be large enough so that you won't have that problem. The same is true if you wanted to print an image out and put it in a frame. The same would be true if you wanted to print a poster, right? If you look up on the wall, the time posters to the left, if I printed those at a small, at a small resolution, they'd be blurry and look unprofessional, right? So we want to make sure that we always select an image size that's quite large. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to search for an image, right? I'm going to go up here to images in the top right. It takes me to Google Images and I'm going to search for a panda bear, okay? And when I, search, when I click search, it's going to bring up a whole lot of different things, okay? A whole lot of pandas that I can choose from. What I want to make sure of though is that I don't wind up choosing, you can see like the dimensions of this image. It says 625 by 450. Okay, look at the difference. This one right next to it is 4,272 by 2,848. This image would be able to be would be able to be blown up significantly larger than this one. Okay, so let's get rid of all of these small images. I'm going to go over here to my settings, right? This like little geary icon, and I'm going to go down to advanced search. Okay, and I'm going to search for panda bear. I'm going to go down to image size. I'm going to change the image size to larger than 1024 by 768. Okay, so that's going to be a relatively large image. I can also choose what kind of color. If I want any color, full color, do I only want black and white images? Um, and so I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that choice here. In this case, I'm going to just do full color. And I'm going to choose the type of image, right? And again, I have some options here. I'm going to choose photo only. So I'm going to choose photo. And I think once I've made those selections, um, I'm pretty much, those are pretty much like the main things I want to go ahead and constrain here. So I'm going to click advanced search. And now it's weeded out a lot of those smaller images. You can see the smallest images now are all over the setting that I chose of 1024 by 768. Okay, so now I can choose an image that I like. I'll just take a second to make sure I choose the perfect one. Um, this guy looks comfortable. And, all right, and now that it's loaded, I'll just go ahead and I can right click, click Save Image As. I'll call it like Panda Bear, and then I can hit Save, right? And I've got, I've got that image. Um, the other thing is that you have like all of the access right here in the search tools to a number of these things. So you can search for the larger than and switch the image size that you're searching for. You can change it to like only black and white, right? Which would give me something like this, mainly like it looks like teddy bears. Um, so I might not want to do that. You could choose like, again, whether you want like a line drawing of a panda bear, or do you want a photo of a panda bear, right? You can even choose things like, hey, I only want to see people who have taken pictures of panda bears in the last 24, like taken and posted in the last 24 hours. Okay, so you have a lot of different options there. I'm going to do one more search here. I'm going to do um, sunset. And again, like I love the idea that I can look for an image that is really quite large, and if I'm really like happy with it, like if I really loved this image right here, give it a second to load so it's nice and sharp. And if I really love that image, I could blow, I could print it out, have it printed at a photo center, and uh, you know, put it on my wall. It says in the instructions, it just tells you take a screenshot of the page that includes the top three rows of image results and submit the completed project at Schoology and in your blog. So I want to be able to see that you've made adjustments here 
And remember, you need the top three rows. So to do that, you're just gonna go ahead and hold down control on your keyboard. And you're gonna roll your little, the, the red uh, mouse button back towards you. And then I'll zoom your screen out slightly so that you can get the top three rows. Once you have it, go ahead and grab your snipping tool and a nice quick picture of, again, your search with the search tools shown. I would call this uh, finding and saving an image. And I hit save. There you go.